Everything's bigger in Texas, but in this case, that's not a good thing. Residents across Texas have been reporting that giant mosquitoes have been seen throughout the area, and notes that they're much larger than a standard mosquito. Mitchell White found one of them in his home, describing it as a creature that resembles a mosquito but being much larger. He said the following, I have no idea what it is, but it sure resembles a mosquito. I thought it was a yellow jacket and I'm allergic to these things so I stepped on it, but it didn't take it out so I stepped on it again and it still didn't give up. We've seen a lot of different insects and different things living here in the river bottom. Usually there's a lot of mosquitoes, but this one right here, it takes the cake for sure. White said they have lived in a heavily wooded area for most of their life, and that it's not uncommon to see all kinds of bugs and mosquitoes, but goes on to say that he's never seen one this big and durable before. Even experts have been surprised by the size of this mosquito, with Dr. Sunyu Kamambanti, with the UT Talibology Department saying that they've studied insects now for over 30 years, and this is the first time they've seen a mosquito of this size. They said the following, This is perhaps the largest mosquito that is out there that actually bites other humans and warm-blooded animals. To the best of my knowledge, they don't spread any disease but if they're present in large numbers, they can be very painful, because they're so large and they tend to cause more pain than your normal mosquito. They continue by saying that without bringing it to a lab, they're not sure what the scientific name for this creature is. But interestingly, this isn't the first person to come forward with a claim like this. Other residents across Texas have been complaining about mosquitoes, with many echoing that it seems like they're getting bigger. Interestingly, this comes not long after the company Oxitec revealed they released millions of genetically modified mosquitoes across the United States, including Texas. The Environmental Protection Agency has cleared the release of 2.4 billion genetically modified mosquitoes in California and Florida, and now the company has revealed that the government has signed off plans which will allow them to release these mosquitoes in Texas. Interestingly, this new species has been called OX5034, and it's led some to say that perhaps each of these mosquitoes has numbers printed on them, and this is what people are seeing when they look at them close up. Just recently, the company has announced that it's planning on releasing another 2 billion mosquitoes, and that they plan on doing this across Florida and California. The researchers have said that the idea is that these new lab-created mosquitoes have a self-limiting gene, which makes them all male. The two billion mosquitoes that will be released into the wild will make carrying on their genes difficult, with the researchers saying that they know it's only female mosquitoes that bite humans because they rely on blood to produce eggs. However, various websites have said that introducing a new species can have consequences and that an already established ecosystem could suffer. Critics of the project have said that we don't know the long-term side effects, and this could open the doors to other gene-altering invasive species. One user said the following, I just don't understand how a project like this can say that nothing will come from it, especially if it's a first of its kind. How can they say that nothing will be affected when it's never been run before? Maybe the short-term side effects are minimal, which is good. But what happens when something goes wrong and you already have millions of these things flying around? How do you get them back? I want to think that this is a good idea and that they're trying to combat an ongoing issue. But I don't think that playing God is a good idea. Oddly enough, residents in Texas and surrounding areas who have come into contact with these mosquitoes have said they're tough, and that standard mosquito spray doesn't work against them, and that they still bite them. One resident said she was bitten and that it was three times more painful than a standard mosquito bite. She said the following, One of these landed on me and I swear it was the biggest mosquito I've ever seen. I didn't feel the bites, but very soon after, a huge lump came up on my arm, 
and it took ages for the swelling and pain to go down. I know it was the mosquito who was responsible because I saw it land on my arm, and the bite mark was in the exact same place as the mosquito was. It's strange because all the years that I've lived here I've never seen one this big before. It's like they've just come out of nowhere. I'm not sure if this is a new type of invasive species, but hopefully nothing comes of this. End quote. Residents in North Carolina have said the same thing is happening there, and that they're being played by huge mosquitoes. The mosquitoes in question are three times the size of typical ones, and these giant insects are said to have arrived due to changing weather, with experts saying that due to strange weather conditions this caused the eggs to hatch, which had been at the time dormant. This saw a big increase in mosquito population by billions, the larvae of the mosquito prey on aquatic animals with the females of the species growing up and feeding on mammals, and this includes human beings. People have been worried as the unusually high numbers did start to interfere with people's lives. One resident ventured outside of her home in her car in North Carolina, and found a huge swarm of these mosquitoes on her car, with other residents saying that they've never seen them this big before. So what do you make of these reports? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.